guys, so today I'm going to go over a basic guide to Crusaders of Light. I'm going to go over the UI and then give you some tips I've learned about the game. The first thing I would recommend for you to do is to go into your account tab here and make sure you bind it. Bind it to either a Google Play or a Facebook. If you bind it to a Facebook, you can play it on both Android and iOS. Okay, so here is your basic UI for your game. Let's start over here on your left hand side. You have two tabs here. Your first is your quest and you can open it and scroll through which quest you can abandon or perform those quests that way. Now the second part here, if you click there, that's your team tab. You can create a team, create a squad, and do a quick team that way. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to form a team. If you click here, create a team. Down here is where you will select what you want to start a team for. So I want to do a daily events. And let's go ahead and do the trial quest and confirm. Now if you click here, you can shout in the team channel and it will get people to join it. If you click here on the plus sign, you can select your friends anyone you want to join, your guild members, and then if there were any players nearby, I have no one nearby to invite. Yay, someone joined the team. And another person, and another. We just need one more and then we can go through with it. Okay, so once you get them all, then you will go back to which one you want to do. I'm going to do the trial quest. I'm going to say go. And now it's going to automatically go through everything. You might have to select the quest and then go, but it will take you straight through the process. If you are leader of the team, you get more XP, plus you get other items, like I got a chest earlier for being the leader of the team. Now, this tab here is where you'll do your daily activities and such. Here is where you'll find the dungeons you can do. On normal, once you hit level 35, you can do them on hero. Now this is your reputation task. If you scroll through here, now it's important to do these two. Once you click on one, it will tell you what you need to do to do the items. Make sure you just click. These give you good XP, so make sure you do them daily. Now this is your event tab. You have daily and then time and events. If you're part of a guild, you also have guild events you can do. There's a weekly guild quest you can do. Do those to help out your guild. And then do all your other quests to help you out. These give you good XP. Now this is your timed event tabs. It shows you what you can do here and how long it is till they open and what time and such. Now this is your team raids. Where you can find those. It tells you how long you have left and such. Now this is your PvP tab. It shows you where your battlefield. It tells you how many, like this one starts in 55 minutes. Now this is your arena and then your tournament, your daily tournament you can do. Okay, so I also wanted to show you how to get notifications. So if you click here, then if you go to events, you can see under this channel what are your current events going on. Those are all that are going on for today. Now if you click here, this will set reminders. This gives you a red dot for these. And then this other tab will give you push notifications. It's not currently working, but I'm assuming they'll get it working in the future. Now this is your friends tab. This gives you a list of your recent contacts who you've talked to. This is a list of your contacts. It shows if you're online, it shows them like that. If they're not online, it shows them like that. You can check your mail here. For example, here, once you're in here, you can click on a message. And you can send, type a message up here. And then hit send. You can delete the messages that way. 
Now if you want to add a friend, you'll click here. This is a list of recommended friends. I'm not sure exactly how. It's probably based off the friends you have. Or you can type in their name and search for them. If you look in your top right hand corner in your map, there's a little button there that starts automatic combat. If you click on this arrow here, this brings up several options for you. First being your skills, which are several tabs to this. Then there's your equipment tab. This is your character tab here. It shows you how much stamina you have and experience. Now here's a tab for your rewards that you can collect. You get daily logins and you get when you level up. This is a trade house. Now the reason why you wanted to get reputation is when you go in here, there's certain items you can buy for silver. Like for example, here's some accessories that you can buy and they're pretty cheap silver, which I've already bought both of them. Okay, here's something else I wanted to show you. If you click here, you go to Beast. This will show your mounts that you have. I've collected two of them. You can summon it. And then that will automatically be the one that it will do. So if I want to switch it to the other one, I'll go back to Beast. And you can see the little horseshoe beside it. That's the one you currently have in your stable. Now once you hit, I think, level 11, you can apply for a guild. And it's kind of important because you get a lot of XP from quests and such. But here's the guild tab. It gives you the guild events so you can see when people joined, when they left, who invited them, who appointed people. Now this gives a list of all your members. You can sort by level, and class, and such like that. There's several other tabs. It's pretty complex compared to other games such as Order and Chaos. So I'm still trying to learn a lot of it. You do have guild events that you can do, and they're on this tab here. Now here's your settings tab. Here's your basic one you have. But if you go to your resolution one, you can change the number of players, you can change your quality, and some other options. Okay, and down here is your chat box. If you click right here, it will bring it up for you. You have your system one, your world, current, guild, race, so that would be all of your race, team, and then battle when you're in PvP and such. Okay, and if you wanted to mute certain chat channels, you would click here, then you would select what channels you wanted to mute. Here's where you would send voice messages. You could click on which one you wanted, your mount button and then you can still move around and here's your settings here's a cool feature they have you can take a selfie of yourself and save it and then you go back by clicking that this is your auto select when you're trying to select a mob here's your jump button now emotes, it took me a little while to find that, but if you click on this little arrow here, you got several of them. And if you click on that button, you can see more of them. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to leave a team and such. Now let's go ahead and form one. Now I'm part of a team, and once you click on the tab, you've got a lot more options. So you double click on it again. This is where you cancel following your team leader. You can follow your team leader this way. You can leave a team that way. The person in the center will always have lead, so sometimes they'll be AFK, and that's the easy way to get out of the team. You can add them as a friend by clicking on their names. Okay, so once you're in a dungeon, if you need to leave a dungeon, see this little button here? I'm not going to click it, but that asks you, wow, well, actually we'll click it, ask if you want to leave the raid. I think that summarizes everything I've learned so far. Uh, thank you all for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment.